Hello everyone, Mikas here for your live electronic music tutorials episode 237 and I keep on making music in real time and yep, this time I will keep on making music in real time and today we're gonna mix and arrange I like to call that deep progressive let's call it the buzzword today Melodic House just the same thing really, it just depends who you're talking to some people call it progressive house, some people will call it Melodic House progressive house is kind of dated I guess now, so it's Melodic House so 122 BPM deep track with really cool instrument that I made in episode 227 that I will now mix and arrange and I'm thinking a bit of a different mix so I want to make let's say an album mix an album mix is a mix that will fit the listener and the DJs that means I'm thinking about the DJs a little bit I'm not gonna make a super long intro with like a long drum beat you know for them to mix but I'm gonna make something that is mixable but it's also pleasurable to listen to for the listener let's say you buy the album and you listen to the track you know you don't want like a minute and a half of just kick and, and snare at first so it's mixable so we're gonna definitely start with a bit more melody a bit more intensity we're gonna build up and we're gonna bring the full experience for our listener if it is your first time watching guys every single episode that I do come with a template so I'm gonna take this template which is already very good it's 2 minute 45 second long I'm gonna make it into a full track and it's gonna be a premium template completely mixed with different instrument I'm gonna really make it into a full track because I really liked it this some tracks that I make in those episodes that came out super strong and decide to push them forward so I do this and I also do mastering sometime I finish the track and I'm planning to release them however I get a very tight schedule so I do not have time to really release and promote music if you know guys if you release music or a, a, a track that is not promoted doesn't worth being released so you always need to promote it and to do so I want to build like a good DJ database and probably offer you guys also the service to promote music but this is a little bit later so let's get started on this track which I think is really cool 120, it's 120 but it still has I believe quite a bit of energy so let's have a listen So what I've done for the purpose of the template I bounce some instrument that I use like this Jupiter 8 which are not you know they just take a lot of power for for really nothing this this bass is a uh, is actually massive so and then the main pad here is I can barely hear it in the back but it is silent of course and the main pad that I use on this is Jupiter 8 quite special it has this filtery kind of feel very good and then here this is our baseline which is poly M which is this scent here which you won't need like I said with this bounce to audio but it has to me it definitely has some character so when I mix the track guys I will mix it in MIDI so I will I will have to make it to remove first first remove this audio because we will not use it then select all the MIDI here and then unmute it oh not what I wanted to do guys uh, okay so this mute on off okay now we have the original because if I want to mix it obviously I will need to I will need to have the parts to be able to work with them. So I'm first going to do, like I said, an intro. And to me, an intro like this with some bass is going to have to be monotone. I'm going to do... So I want to tell you a bit more about my process. So when I'm actually arranging and mixing a track, it happens often that I'm add, remove, change parts a lot because it doesn't need to be the same. It's just... It's a different part, so we want to push the track further, and most of the time there's some ideas that come, so... So I do like those shakers to continue here. Again, this pad here has the keys into it, which I don't want, at least for the first part. I'm gonna just keep it full, like this here. I don't think I'll open it this much. Again, same thing with the second part of this, so the 
the bass is there. So this is great. Definitely everything we need for a good intro here. Let me check this and check that here. The R here and R here. So I'm gonna repeat this first repeat, sorry, this first part. But I will bring back something else in there. Like I said, this is let's say album mix. So here I would want something to come in. So there's this bass here. Then we could probably bring some hits. Let's give it a try. I think I will take the full part here. Oh. Okay, I, th I think this could be good. Let's say with this in the middle. I don't want it to replicate the MIDI, but I want it to, to replicate the MIDI part. So I want to do down, 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 and bring a note of something else. So I like the tone, tone, tone. However, it needed need a little bit of a response. So I have a lot. I have some really cool keys here that I can use some. I skip the first 15 seconds since it's already in there and it will work. This is my BD. Ah, my BD is there. So let's say actually that I will take the same base keys here and I'm just going to move them forward here. Change the melody a little bit. It's not exactly tone tone tone, so just to create a bit more space and just have a listen. So I like that. I'm gonna go and create a new channel for these. So like I said, always something so your listener doesn't get bored. I think I can remove these for now. I think we have a good part here. I think... I'm not sure if we're ready for this yet. I would say so, yeah. So, 30 seconds. And I think I will cut it. I think I'm going to bring it down here. To put maximum emphasis on the key change and the beat. I'm going to bring most of that down. Mm, I think the thumbs were good in there. like this roll here it's, it makes everything fuller so we're going to this part here keep keep the thumbs behind I think the thumbs are good this little Jupiter hit there perfect exaggerate a little bit the end here to do a little a bit of a wash again we're still in the intro, we're getting to the first minute, so now we're really gonna get into the main topic. So let's go. So after this at 33 here. We have our bass coming in. I 
think I will actually bring the original. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna hope that Massive will not take all my CPU. I don't think so. Quite a well, well done synth, Massive Instrument stuff. It's a nice FM bass, but it's not, I mean, it's, I wouldn't say it's not extraordinary, but it's, it's not super exciting, let's say. Unless I really crack it up, but I want it to be in the back, so let's, let's bring it up a little bit. Not a big fan of this type of like gritty kind of filter thing. I don't use Massive a lot, guys, or rarely. Well, well, I bought it, like many synths that I bought through through the years. Buy them and then don't use them except for Silent, you know. And I guess I almost bought Pigment the other day, guys. Tell me about Pigment. Maybe use it. Just drop a comment below. And of course, Serum, which still don't use. Maybe next year, I guess something. Okay, I, li I like it, and the mix is good. I think we need a bit more pad, I think, here. Just a bit of a lower, kind of a... to add depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're gonna bring the main synth here. Which I will also do the same. I'm gonna drop that here. I'm gonna bring it back to the original MIDI. I'm gonna listen to it to see if it's really worth it. I feel this part here is a bit slow. I think this is a bit of a missing, maybe automation or something. Maybe I would be tempted to drop maybe this. Hmm. It was interesting because without without this this lower part it does definitely make make a cool variation I think. I don't want those shakers I think though. Uh, maybe not here. this I want it to be quite the piece in the mix so I'm gonna bring it up so so far I think I'm captivating the listener one phase after arranging and mixing for me is I would call it the finishing part where I really put on some details had some little sound effect here and there and really really just do automation to, to the to the limit of what's being ridiculous, you know, so but this come later. Oh. Oh here we had a rise, so let's listen to the rise for a second. Here, so now it's going up. Bass is still there here. I think I have some automation on there. Not at all. Eh? Hmm. Oh. This is definitely a really good transition. I wouldn't change anything here. Now we're going into a slower part, definitely. No.
it was about to come back a little bit and <laughs> kind of I didn't have the whole loop there so very nice here so I think it will extend this a little bit further here and not bring the beat just yet oh sorry guys not what I wanted to do This, this, I think I will drop two. Of the median there, yes. I'm gonna drop the whole thing, yes. Go back here, bring this back into the track. Because I don't think it work here. It's a bit unnecessary. With all that there's already there. I think this is also unnecessary because we already just had a drum roll. So we're just gonna continue straight into a normal kick. So I think I would do like a complete drop here of all the drums. I would also drop this low bass. Also drop this top bass, like almost everything for that one bar there. Then after this, normally would come back quite quite raw. And I would like something, like a bit of an additive in, into this part too. And I also have to arrange it a bit better because the timing was a bit off with the changes we did. So I added an extra four bars in there. So with the bass, with the drum, we have everything, but I'm thinking what could be cool to have in there except for this big pad that will come back a bit later but I want to make this big pad special when it's coming back in so I need, I need something else the bass is cool I think I will be tempted to take this bass sequence here and well drop massive because I will use most maybe like a yeah, here we go a CSV 80 something a bit crazy so I'm gonna take the bass sequence here and drop it here. I'm now also gonna bring it up. And just go have a little trip. Well, it's definitely is cool. What if we... Because uh, the pad doesn't have much time to open.
also a little bit like, like the pad we have already. Okay, then if it's not a pad, I will go probably leads. There must be some some pretty intense stuff in there. I know there's some tin stuff, but. I just want to complement to the bass a little bit. That, but it's a bit much for this track. Well, I think it's the case of uh, not the sound, <laughs> so we're gonna continue. I should have taken that first, really, but... Oh, this is interesting. Hear that. So what if I do, I don't think there's some brasses in there, so this inspired me to think if there is some brasses in here. Here. Not brass, not pads. I don't know what happened there. Brass here. Ooh, that is nice. Let's see. Mm. Oh, that's chunky. Let's see if I go up an octave. I think it would be better. adds. I'll check the frequency a little bit. Too much lows definitely. I, I just want the top and the resonance there. Just to add some accent so we don't have the same thing all the way through the track. So I have to make it to fit in the mix. Trippy, dancey, I like it. Then we're going back into another part with this, which will bring back shakers too. Drop the bass on this part here. Feels like it's building and accelerating. Very nice. Oh, this pad is going down again here. How about we continue? I 
I think I'll drop it a bit more here. So let's count four, four, six. So here I'll bring back this melody for a few bars. I think I want this elastic base here. And then, of course, we're gonna start building the outro. A couple bars of this. Two, three, four, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, and four. I think I have enough content of length already, so we're at 5 minutes 20, which is a good length for a track of this type, I think. I'm gonna drop the bass a bit earlier here. Shakers are already dropping. I'm gonna drop some of the hi hat here. Drop the other hi hat here. The pad will go down here instead of going up. Then the polyam is going. I'm gonna bring this Jupiter. Mm, well, maybe not actually. We were on the, the going down already, so. Alright! I think that makes for a pretty good track, guys. 5 minutes 20 seconds. This is like an album mix, like I said earlier. We took the track, we drive it forward. There's another part to finishing a track. So, this is arranging. I didn't really do any mixing because I think the track was already mixed quite properly. But there's another part to that which I said this is like the finishing, the detailing I would call it, of the track. Which I will do in another episode guys of this track. And then I'm gonna do a mastering too so if you want to follow, I'm gonna finish it. I'm also gonna release it when, I don't know, I'm just basically making a lot of music. And I'm preparing I guess to release a double or even a triple album with different genres because I do all kinds of genre guys. And until next time. May the songs be with you.